Welcome back to Street Smart. As Sheila just reported, in less than an hour from now, Amazon reports, reports first quarter earnings. I'm so excited. I can barely get it out. <laughs> eBay follows tomorrow after the close. Then Microsoft on Thursday will preview all of those earnings now with a technology analyst who started his career as a computer programmer and is now a director at BGC Partners, Colin Gillis. I'm thinking which one, welcome first of all. Yeah, great to be here. Which one matters the most? Well, I mean, you got the e-commerce twins, right? Amazon and eBay. We're out there saying, you know, we got to sell on Amazon, we got to buy on eBay. There's several reasons for that. First off, is valuation, right? I mean, Amazon is priced to perfection. You're talking a 56 times multiple. It's expensive on earnings. It's expensive on on a growth ratio. In fact, if you took Amazon's multiple, uh, or if you took Apple's multiple and put it to Amazon, you get a $47 stock, right? You know, Apple sells books, Apple sells movies, Apple sells music. So if you want growth and you want exposure to this space, you know. Consider buying Apple, right? You know, eBay is a turnaround story. Their marketplace and their PayPal uh, divisions are both doing quite well. We're going to see that in the March quarter. It trades at a much more reasonable valuation. It trades about uh, 17 times earnings. Despite the stock being up almost 20 percent this year, it's well, still a more reasonable valuation. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. I mean, uh, if you can consider it, Amazon 56 times, right? You know, mm -hmm. eBay more towards 18 times. But because the fact that it's up 18 percent or so this year, most of the good news is, is factored in, right? You know, it's still going to be a steady growth. Lower, but you know we don't expect any major surprises out of Q1 for you, eBay. You, know, you talk about the business with, with Amazon, the model you think they're doing a lot of stuff that bigger, better companies do. What about eBay? You know, I love to buy stuff on it. It makes me almost salivate. But a lot of people say it's only used junk. You know, it's it's like going to an, a, a yard sale, but. There is a lot of new stuff on oh, eBay. Absolutely. In fact, you know, that perception of eBay is, is outdated. And in fact, what eBay has turned into is a liquidation out, you know, outlet center for both. Like, if you want a new it's item. It's overstock.com that actually Well, even more so because there's a, there's a range of, of items out there that you can buy. If you want something new, you can go to Amazon and you can get something new, right? But if you want something new, you can probably get it less expensively at eBay. Or you can get last season's new item, right, which would be even more of a discount. Or you could get a refurbished item. Or you could get a used item. So there's a bigger price price point range uh, on eBay. And let's point out, I mean, Colin, you have a sale on Amazon, so you don't see any reason to own this stock at this point. You know, and here's the thing, right? You go back and you think about Microsoft, right? And the stock's been trading in a range for a decade. During that time, it grew from a 30 PE multiple down to a 10 PE multiple. When you have stocks that are this expensive, that have such low margins, right? It's a 3.6% margin company. You know, when, if they hit so any bump in the road. So is that a valuation call here? It's a valuation call plus, right? There's some other things. Higher oil prices, that's a negative for a company like Amazon, where they give away so much of their free shipping. Right, just the fact of rising input costs is a, is a negative for a discount retailer. You know, we all heard about the uh, outage on their Amazon Web Services, the disruptions in mm -hmm. Japan, a slower UK economy. So th there's a whole host of things that we're pointing to. Are they uh, always, are they always a play against each other? You think Amazon and eBay? Could you almost? Short one by the other. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some people who want to do that, you know, if you want exposure to e-commerce, right, you know, being long eBay and short Amazon as a pair trade is certainly something that, that people consider. Um, you know, and, and then again, I think, you know, I'd point out that, that they are both subject to some of the same macro forces, though. What are key metrics to watch out then for eBay? We know you like it. What, what should we watch out when it So for eBay, you break it, it's four simple buckets, right? On the marketplace, you have the number of goods being sold, that's the velocity of goods, times the average selling price, right? The velocity of goods has already been increasing, mm -hmm. and if the ASPs lift up, then bam, you got both levers firing. Average selling prices. Average selling For prices, right? You know, they've, they've been going down because there's been a lot of, of uh, inexpensive goods from, from other countries like China that have been listed on the marketplace. But they're doing a good job of trying to surface up, you know, more relevant, better priced goods. On PayPal, it's the number of active users and the frequency, right? And they tend to add about 3 million users uh, a quarter, and those users are using it more often. You get Is all there any four other of those way to buy working. stuff on the internet? <laughs> Say it again. Is there any other way to buy stuff on the internet? <laughs> eBay. I mean, no, seriously, I mean, PayPal is a fantastic asset. Everyone loves PayPal. Now, what about Amazon? Is there anything that would change your mind when you see the earnings report? Would, well, if they make really you blew out the numbers, right? If they really blew out the numbers and I saw a lot of leverage happening, mm -hmm. you know, uh, then that would be something that would make me, you know, reconsider the, the rating. But you also have to remember that a lot of the goods they sell are books, music, and movies. That's about 40% of the revenue, right? And books are going away to e-books. Mm -hmm. Music is going away to digital formats, and so are movies. And they only have leadership in, in the digital formats in one, in one of those areas, which is the e-books. You sound like you're making a case not to own it. Amazon. He's a oh, sell. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sorry, I think <laughs> and you're doing it enthusiastically, <laughs> and we like that. All right, Colin Gillis from BGC, thanks so much for joining us.